What you're looking at here is a different version of Adora, but it's not just a skin. It's much more than that. It is Fate Weaver Adora, the Neo Hero alt coming into Battles 2 very soon. Right now, this is early access, so big shots at Ninja Kiwi. And make sure to stay tuned to see uh, how she's going to work, because it looks much different just reading uh, all this text. Here they break it out in quite a lot of detail, but just a quick TLDR. Basically, she can sabotage your opponent's heroes simply by increasing the cooldown of their abilities, which increases the higher level she is, and as for her level 3 ability, Sharp Sting of Fate, it looks like it does the same thing as the normal level 3 Adora, however, if your opponent tries to rush you with a balloon boost, then the cooldown is nearly instant. Well, it is definitely an interesting mechanic, and something we've uh, not seen before. Also, in a twist, Fate Weaver Adora's level 7 ability doesn't grant her XP, but rather it reduces the XP on the uh, opponent's hero. And also makes balloons go faster around that hero. And lastly, the ball light is changed to a chain of fate ability. Looks like on top of doing damage, it also grabs uh, balloons, holds them immobile, aka a stun or something like that. And however much damage it does is dependent on how expensive uh, your opponent's most expensive monkey is, which is, again, I don't think words can put into justice uh, how this hero is going to work out. So here we go, the full portrait of Fate Weaver Adora over here. Let's go ahead and unlock her for 40,000 Adora XP. And we'll see if this alt hero is worth the wait, because uh, Adora came released without a, a hero alt. So surely Ninja Kiwi must have been cooking something spicy. Before we continue to gameplay, very important event to announce. But on the first week of when this Battles 2 update drops, there will be a charity showdown running from March 27th to April 1st. Basically how it works is anytime you make a purchase in Battles 2, on that week, 15% of that money will be donated to charity, so long as you also use a creator uh, support code. So enter ISAB or anything else on this button over here, make a purchase, and uh, yeah, help support a good cause. Uh, the charity that it'll go to will go to the top creator's choice, aka whoever's code gets the most purchases. As for me, if I get that choice, uh, I'll have all the proceeds go to a cancer research organization. It's a cause that I think all of us can agree and unite on, on defeating. Not only that, but if you make a purchase during this event, then you'll be awarded an in-game avatar or banner, custom made for all the top three creators, and simply just by having an account, not even purchasing. Everyone in the game will also receive the banner or avatar for the number one creator. So if you want to support ISAB, then who knows, maybe you can have your very own avatar of Sada sitting on a big plane or something like that. I'm kidding, that's not what mine would look like, but we'll see. So if you were sitting on the fence earlier, uh, thinking about buying club membership, then uh, let's just say now is the best time to do that. And also, real quick before the gameplay, uh, here are some more changes. Uh, lots of things done to Clan Wars, alongside Bling Quest War changes, and uh, a bunch of balance changes, which uh, I don't have time to go over today. Also because uh, I'm not sure how many people are truly interested in, you know, one-by-one -one balance changes, uh, but... They're over here right now if you want to take a quick skim. And if you possibly want to see me go more in detail about uh, each balance change, even though I don't play this game very much, then uh, stay tuned and follow my second channel, Ice of Extras. And uh, you may see a video soon of me uh, going a little more in depth about these changes. That's all. Now for some Fate Weaver Adora action. I will make it clear that these are just casual games, so don't expect any tryharding. Just simply showcasing what the hero has to offer. I have no idea what synergizes well with Fate Weaver Adora, so let's just go with, I don't know, Tack, Mortar, and uh, Heli, and we'll see uh, how that works. So for starters, how much are we looking at for uh, uh, Fate Weaver Adora's cost? 650, so enough to start her right off the bat. Sure, I forget how how much the normal door costs, if it got buffed anyway this update, but I just do know that um, normal door definitely costs more than 650 when she got released, so just for some food for thought. Anyway, level 1 looks like pretty much the exact same as normal Dora. It pierces uh, 6 bloons at a time, seeks out the target. Level 2 is where we get the bad luck. The difference comes in, ability cooldowns increased by the enemy hero. It's kind of fortunate that we don't have the um, XP gaining of a Dora anymore, because I kind of want to see the level 20 as soon as possible. But we'll have to wait till pretty late game to get to that point, I would assume. Alright, and now for the level 3 ability. Actually, before that, you can see there's now an icon on top of a Dora showing that... Uh, her ability to cooldown's a little bit longer. That's because of the other Fate Weaver Dora on the opponent's side. I guess let's go ahead and just use the ability and see what happens. And whoa. That's... weird? Look how much that, that thing is looping around the blue balloons. Interesting. 
I don't want to call it a ricochet, but it's definitely a high peers attack, that's for sure. Sounds really good um, for giant rushes, because of the high peers. And again, don't forget that the cooldowns reduce during balloon boost. So you see, I think it's like a 40 second cooldown. I'm just going to coordinate my opponent to use a balloon boost, I guess, now. And you can see, holy, that is fast. So I use it again. And just to show you. And I'd assume just for the whole duration of that boost, which is what, 12 seconds or 10 seconds? Something like that. It'll get the fast leveling. So basically, you might be able to get two, uh, two abilities off in the time that a balloon boost is active. So I guess I can see the use in that, because I guess one, just me, but one feels like too little. You're probably gonna send you Baby Rush and force out your ability, and just like that, you're dead, because you have nothing after that. But yeah, that's nice to have. Obviously, that was just the early game, so you couldn't really see how much Pierce that did exactly, but we'll see once the big boy rushes get unlocked. I think level 5, level 6 are pretty normal or average. Nothing too crazy to look at. More Pierce and extra projectiles. Looks like at level 5, she does like 20 Pierce per attack, so not really that great against a possible giant rush. Like, say, you didn't have the ability, but... Eh, better than nothing. Alright, hold up. Uh, zebras. I'm just gonna go ahead and use Adora. See how that, um, piercing attack does. Not bad. But I feel like it doesn't target what I wanted to, because it was on first. Although, I guess, maybe the zebras weren't on first. And it was the blue balloons, that's why it's right there. And now for the level 7 ability, unlocked on round 15. Billy looks like an eye icon. Very cool, and let's see. Oh, uh, my my opponent used uh, the ability, and I, I I think I noticed that the cost to uh, buy this level went up, so that's how it works. It's just instantaneous de-leveling, or de-XPing, which I can see it being kind of, like, sneakily good. Although, you, you don't know what your opponent's level is, other than guessing, or guesstimating by experience looking at the opponent's portrait. But I'd say it's a nice ability to have, a sneaky ability to use, like, when your opponent's level 10. I'd assume you can actually go back a level, or maybe it just defaults back to 0 on that level. I guess we can test that, but uh, if that works, then that would be pretty nutty. That's all I'm gonna say. But it's not just a deal leveling again, you see. It speeds up balloons around the hero, so maybe it will test that out real quick. Like, when they mean balloon... Oh, yeah, yeah, hang on. That Moab went way faster. And also, it's a small radius. Uh, what if I use this? Does it do anything enough to get to Moab? Not really. Well, it makes sense because it's a high pierce attack, but... Yeah, th there it is. That's how the speed works, everybody. Only in a small radius, but um, pretty fast when it is, well, working in range. Uh, what else are we looking at here? Uh, level 8 throws 4 at once. Level 9... Increased attack range and more damage to fortified seems pretty standard to me. How about these ramps here? Can we use the ability? Does it one-shot them? Not quite, but it does like seem to tick a good amount. Again, very interested to see how this deal leveling works when I get level 10. So let me wait. Do I get it this round? Uh, almost. I'm gonna go ahead and buy and coordinate. I'm gonna get my opponent here to uh, deal level. And they did sacrifice, but no, it seems like you don't deal level. All right. Good to know, good to know. Anyway, I want to see how this uh, level 10 works. So it creates a trap. That's why you can target a door now. Um, I suppose we just target the intersection here. And I'll use it even though my opponent's most expensive monkey is what? Necromancer? Or an Icicles? Well, I'm dropping it and uh, here we go. We have a damaging trap. Whatever this is here. I don't know how to explain it. But you can see for yourself. Maybe I should have saved it for uh, when there were more balloons, but... We'll do that next time. I'm just going to buy attack zone just to keep myself safe. Uh, level 11 is where we uh, get the 10% log ability cooldowns. Okay, this is going to hurt my uh, eco a little bit. Let me just go ahead and send a DT and see uh, if it works with the trap. So wait for it. How about now? And uh, there comes the trap. Looks like it sucked it up immediately, so... Oh, right. It's stronger because I have attack zone. Duh. That would, that would track. How about we go ahead and send his UMG uh, then? Uh, before then, hang on. Let me just spend $10 on level 13. Seems like it's pretty standard stuff. Nothing that's significant because Adora won't really, really be new damage with her main attack. So what is the point this late in the game of these extra weapons? So yeah, ZMG. I did get an Inferno Ring, so this will do uh, probably a lot of damage. Let's see exactly. Uh, here comes the Chains of Fate. It's wrapping its uh, chains around the ZMG. But is it long enough? No. That was quick. 
I don't know if to be overwhelmed or underwhelmed, but, um... Yeah, that's how it performed, ladies and gents. Okay, yeah, they'll be just fine right there. Uh, yep, I think I have a lot of excess cash that I can probably just dump a decent amount of levels into the door. Not a whole lot, though. Let me just see. Uh, Conjure weapons cut through an extra balloon layer. And Chains of Fate holds wounds for longer. Gotcha. Oh, and level 16. I guess I forgot about this, but bad luck affects all your opponent's ability cooldowns. Is it 10%, though? I'd assume so, since it doesn't specify otherwise. Again, I think we can go all in at this point in the levels, even though it costs quite a bit of money. Level 18 throws 8 at a time. Level 19 increases range and damage. Actually, hang on, I didn't say 15%, maybe I'm mistaken, but uh, there it is. The level 20 ability looks like Chains of 8 deals 2x damage and lasts longer. Eye of Misfortune has increased range and causes balloons to move even faster. Okay. Now, I'm not suited to defeat a bat anyway, but um, uh, here it comes, here it comes. Do I try... Let's just use it immediately, the trap, and we'll boost to see how much single target we can do. Looks like Adora does 2,000 or so. With the fates. Alright, uh, what else can I buy? It's just a normal, little, little normal bat, so it's not like... No way I'll die here, right? I have so many abilities that... What do I even look at here? Maybe I shouldn't have gotten this many. I'll just hang on and pop an off. Once this pops, just to give it super good. And we should be able to clean in the insides. With, uh, how about the biggest one here? 520. I do have follow mouse, so I'll set this one to follow mouse. And we should be okay at cleaning this up. Nice. I'm not one to jump to conclusions here, but I feel like for any Adora to be useful, she just has to provide, like, utility. So, I would personally before prefer the buff with Adora and, and Sun Avatars. Because if Fate Weaver Adora's damage is just that, which it looked okay, but... I mean, you're going to be rushed with so many bads late game that one isn't going to do much, right? Uh, hang on, this time, what is this? Okay, three bads. I guess this is good to test the single target. Or rather, the multi-target. So, uh, here. I'll boost again, because whatever. Because it would... Yeah, it chains around all the all the um, be, uh, bads. So, if that's the case, that it does decent single target or multi-target, then maybe I stand corrected. That wasn't too shabby, I, got, I, I must say. Uh, hang on, Papa Oh, God. Retarget. Is my Papa Na or... Did I de de get decamoed? If it didn't... My bad. Alright, just to guarantee we're good. Let's get a Super Maelstrom. Alright. Decreased cooldown suck. A lot. Alright, three bads defended, though. It kind of feels like a budget Jericho in that it nerfs whatever your opponent's defen defense is. But she doesn't do it as well, and in exchange she does damage, but it's all up to you on whether that damage is, well, worth it or not, that trade-off. What do I know? I barely play this game. Uh, also, I just um, coordinated, and my opponent sacrificed it as your Maelstrom. And again, since she's level 20, my door is level 20, I lose nothing from that. Now, I didn't go for a good late-game strategy at all, so I probably died to a single F-bad. But it's worth trying, right? Just a light rush here, round 38 ramped up bads. Uh, rather, it eats pretty gnarly. However, uh, so we're... Okay, level 10 over here. I will just combo it with boost. And uh, this. It looks like door caps out like 3,000 single target, or total damage across three bads. Uh, personally, I think I expect a little more out of this. And also, we don't have enough damage, so I need to replace over here. And there's no way to get the ability up faster again. Just kind of have to hope this is enough. Like, I don't have even have good tier 4s either. It's just, uh... Ar artillery batteries. I beat one of the bads, but I don't think I can get the other one. Alright, good try. Time for counter rush. Nope. Oh! <laughs> Died to AI. Well, that was a twist at the end. <laughs> Anyways, GG. And there is Fate Weaver Dwarf flaunting her victory against the Leads and Ceramics. <laughs> Full well knowing that... Uh, our Adora would have died one second later regardless. Nice animation. Anyways, that was the Adora Showcase. Let me know your thoughts, and uh, let me know if you want to see how she performs in a real game. For that, you'll have to stay tuned for when the update drops next week. And once again, don't forget, head over to the shop and use code ISAB and uh, support charity and your favorite creator at the same time. And don't forget about those sweet, sweet avatars and banners too.